Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to episode two of wiring, actual starting the wiring process. I've got my buddy Rodell here. Um, Hello, buddy. He is a wiring wizard. And <laughs> he was like, oh, this is going to be easy. I'm like, dude, this is stressing me. It's like a sea of wires. So um, yeah, dude, what's the game plan? So the name of the game the day is we're going to try to get all the wires to the locations that they belong in. So I know it looks like a rash nest of spaghetti right now, but what we'll do, we'll tape them off pull them to the locations, everything that's gonna be in the rear of the car, we'll pull it to the rear, everything to the front of the car, we'll pull it to the front. Everything that's gonna go here in the center where all your controls are, we'll make sure they get to their locations and that's what the name of the game is today. Sweet, yeah. Um, yeah, this was like super intimidating for me. <laughs> I mean, I was I was gonna like struggle to do this. I was like, okay, so I've got this pulled off to the side. That that's good. <laughs> but everything else, you know, like I don't know. So no, definitely. Like we'll look at this set right here. Most of these are rear tail lights, stop lights. What else we got right here? Brake lights and something random that says. Nope, we're good. Front right light. So, <laughs> all right. So these will get taped off. We're going to pull them through this tunnel right here. Once you get them out the back, we'll pull them into the trunk and then they'll terminate that section and we'll just keep knocking them down one block at a time till we got everything where we need it to be. Dude, sweet. Yes, sir. Here we go. So I'm also going to be mounting my battery in the trunk. Um, I'll have to um, order some uh, battery cables that, you know, that, that are for that from, from back to back to front. But um, yeah, other than that, um, yeah, we're going to start, like I, like I said, just sectioning everything out and hooking up some connectors, dude. Pretty Let's sweet. Get it. So, we're pulling this wire here out because we're going to run the battery to the trunk. We're going to run it back here with the rest of our batteries that are going to be going towards the trunk. And for now, we're just going to loop everything out of the way. Okay. And then eventually, after we start getting closer to what the final product is going to look, we're going to start tightening everything down, landing the wires where they need to land, so it doesn't look such a wretch nest. It looks more of a professional job. Sweet. One thing I'm looking at that we want to pay attention to is where all our grounds need to run. So once we decide where you want your grounds to be, we'll need to grind off a good spot and make sure we got a good connection for grounds because we do not want to be trouble. Chasing down grounding gremlins. Right, for sure. No fun. You want to use bulk, bulkhead hole? Yeah, we can do that because, okay. like I said, bulkhead got taken out. I'm not using it. And, okay. Um, so we'll fish those ooh, the bulkhead hole. The kit also had, there was a spot for, um, like, a big grommet for the firewall. Yeah, I think it, I think it might be in that bag. Yeah, there it is right there. Okay. Yeah, so that grommet. Um, it looks like we probably could smash it in that heater hole for sure, or we just drill us another hole for a grommet. Okay. However you want to work it. Here, I'll grab those. Okay. I guess we can see how many we end up with in the engine bay. This okay. side was going to make the most sense. Because that grommet's probably about the size of a silver dollar. Okay. A quarter size hole in the center. Yeah, we could. Uh, yeah, we could stick it through one of those heater, those heater hose holes there. I, I don't think that should be a problem. All right. Cool, cool. Because, like I said, I'm not putting the heater core back in. And if anything, at some point, I'll uh, I'll run like vintage air and stuff. Yeah. That'd be simple enough. These look like they're gonna be interior under dash. Flashers, yeah. So these are gonna be all interior under dash. So we're gonna make those our interior ones is high here for now. Okay. Alright. Running out of wires, man. Is that a good thing? That's <laughs> always a good thing to run out of wires. Okay. <laughs> That means we got less sitting here in the center of this 
hole. <laughs> More going where they belong. Sweet. Round. Yep, so this is going to be all going out front. Cooling fans. So this one will go out of our same hole. We'll push all these guys out to the front as well. So we just put a little tape on them so they don't get stuck as we're pushing them out of that hole. You know that giant hole over there? Yep. <laughs> Not like it's a small one. <laughs> so, there yeah. we go. This just makes my job a little easier. You want to meet me on the other side and yep. pull the rest of these through? Okay. Yeah, do you think do you think we have enough wire or Short. Might be a little short. <laughs> Dude, oh, that's insane. Oh, I love it. That's so cool. Well, at least they give you more than enough, though. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, that's really cool. Hey, they just wanted to make this painless as possible. Yes. <laughs> I see what you did, see there. What did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And there you go. Okay. Let's see. Gear selector, indicator light. Yeah, these are gonna be inside the dash. Yeah, I'm not gonna be running a gear selector. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Because six speed. <laughs> yeah, why would we wanna do that? Ballast bypass ignition switch. Okay, so these are going to be inside the dash. So this is good with this little section we got right here. Okay. So like I said, all we're doing right now is just sectioning everything out so it doesn't look so. Oh my God! What am I do with all these freaking wires? Then once we get everything to where we know it's supposed to go, then we just start cutting, pasting. Making it look like something, flipping power on, and looking at the magic. Dude, sweet. <laughs> yeah, like, you're saving my ass, man. Like, I was, I was sitting there, like, just. I, I thought I was panicking. having fun, and we're actually doing something? <laughs> yeah, you're insane, dude. <laughs> so, what are we looking at here? Dimmer switch. That's telling me that's indoors. <clears throat> All right. This section here. This is. Hazard lights, that's going to be inside. So all this stuff will either be your hazard lights, your fuel selector, your ignition switch, all that stuff's going to be it's in your dashboard. Okay. So. But you got plenty enough wire to pull it wherever you need to once we get it here. All right, let's see what we got here. The cooling fan switch. That one is probably going to be a relay that's going to be outside in the engine bay. Unless you're going to have a cooling switch in here, stand along, turn it on, turn it off. Um, I haven't decided that yet. I don't know if I'm going to turn the. I, you know, I think I want to have the fans turn on thermostatically because okay. I want the. I want the. You know, computer the control that. Yeah, I want the computer to, in that to case, control we're that. Leave these inside. Okay. Oh, man, yeah, before I had I the, before I had a switch and that's what that relay was. It was oh, up okay. by the really yeah by the headlights, okay. and so I just flipped a switch and turned it on. Um, but no, I yeah I want the computer to control the um, the fans and stuff. Oh man, what's that? Gonna be a prima donna and run an air conditioner? Heck no! <laughs> All right, we're gonna roll this one up. Yeah, and I'm gonna tape it off when we figure out. If you're really gonna <laughs> yeah. run an air conditioner, we'll, 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 we'll come back and hook it up. No. Dude, this thing's got 360 air, see? <laughs> oh, we're good. Yeah. Who needs this hippie stuff? <laughs> <laughs> hippie stuff. All right, it'll be none of You know what's gonna suck, though? Is, <laughs> what's gonna be funny is I'm gonna be like, right, I'm gonna be in the Midwest in August. 
oh, yeah. sweating my ass off going, you know, I wish I had wish some I had AC. <laughs> hey, man, I've seen these cool little cooler things on YouTube. <clears throat> Put one of them in here. You'll be good. A little bit of ice, a little bit of fan. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could make my own. That'd be kind of red. sounds awesome. All right. This looks like your instrument cluster stuff. We have uh, instrument panel lighting. Let's grab this one because it looks. High beam indicator. Yep, so this will be all terminated right here in your instrument cluster. Man, okay. That's so cool. So that'll go right there as well. More interior lighting or interior wire. So if you look at all these wires right here, that's probably going to be our biggest challenge. It's terminating everything to where our new system is going to go with our old system, but everything is properly labeled. Really, wiring diagram at this point would help, would not help. It's right. not going to matter for us. And to say we know what we have. Older cars are easy to look at. This switch controls this. You know where your switches were. We know where our switches need to go. So it'll be an easy kill, man. Sweet. And everything is nicely labeled don't look now i think we're down our last two wires what that's it buddy so this one here i think it's all sectioned out huh yes sir sweet that one there is labeled constant and hot and this one here is labeled oh it's your radio wiring man <laughs> <laughs> yeah you like that sweet see through, yeah. see -through that. radio put that right here for that radio bam <laughs> ready Ready. Let's go ahead and get this system put in. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my uh, my radio is uh, is Bluetooth right now. So yeah. it's wireless uh, and Bluetooth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? I do have, dude. This little oh, this little J okay, then. this little JBL speaker yes. is the shiz. I that keep thing. one of those on my travel pack, man. When I'm in the woods scaring off bears, then you're right. <laughs> that one is perfect. Hey man, I'm not trying to be bear food. <laughs> so the guy does wiring and he's funny. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. All right, this one here. They tried the label backwards for me. This is our dome light. Um, I actually, if you that kick panel is just chilling on there. Okay. Uh, that can get pulled off, and there's actually dome light wiring that that goes Perfect. up. Perfect. So this I, is where that's going to run to. Okay. I'm assuming I have a ground. Yep. I have a dome light, and this is probably an actuator switch. Yeah, panel switch. There you are. So there should be this little thing right here. There's your panel switch inside your door. Okay. We'll put a meter on to make sure they work. If not, we'll get some new ones underway. But yeah, okay. open your door. Switch makes contact. Wire goes through here. Light comes on. Sweet. Bam. Okay. Guys, we're getting like real fancy here. You know, I'm just trying to do like a simple hemi swap. He's wanting to put like <laughs> dome lights and stuff in this. <laughs> why why wouldn't you, man? Why wouldn't you? It's you know, be that one day you drop right. a fry in between the seat, you're gonna be like, oh, let me hit this dome light. Yeah, no. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Just like that. <laughs> well, cool. At this point, let's move to the trunk. Let's see if we can split this out left and right of the trunk, and um, we'll just keep pressing. So this wire right here, we pulled out. Uh, out of the original harness yeah since we're going to be trunk mounting the battery this is the one that we're going to have to extend because you notice it's a little short right everything oh, else is overkill okay. yeah, yeah normally batteries are mounted under your hood so this would have been perfect to be mounted under the hood plenty of wire for that but since we're doing a little different with this swap we're going to have to extend this one here out and then pull the rest of it down into the trunk so when we mount the battery there we're good to go okay sweet so i'm gonna leave this one short so we don't lose it in the harness okay so when you're coming through here and you see what the heck did he do here that's what's going on with this one got it and the rest of our wires will make it to the trunk though yeah it should like I, <laughs> like i said i think there's a uh... i did it already in the trunk <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah. Let me slide these to you. Yeah, like I said, dude, I, I had to recheck the part number that they sent me because I, I I was pretty sure it was, it was it was the wiring harness for the USS Iowa. Yes, I agree with that. All right. Okay. There goes. Yep. Got about another four feet, and we're there. Again, <laughs> you know, I, I'm just not sure. sure. I'm not sure we're gonna make it. Think we're a little short. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Okay. I like it. All right. So now we'll get some of those zip ties. Yep. And what we'll do is we'll cut this one here open and then we'll split it apart so we know we have our turn signals left, turn signals right, or if you like me in Texas, turn signals right, turn six left. And then you want to run over here to our marker lights on the side. So we'll spread everything out, put it where it needs to go. 
We got a sending unit that will jump down here in the center somewhere, probably right here from your tank. And there may um, be another one. For I you think there. the sending unit port is. It's right there. Oh, with that wire. Yeah. Yep. Okay, perfect. So we'll run our sending unit back here, and then we should have a tail light, or not tail light, license plate light in the rear. Yep. So. And that is right. That's the. I think that's the ground. Yeah, that should be the ground for it. Um, and up oh, right oh, there. Oh, here, right here. All right, where's this one going? Oh, yeah, there is something there. So we got a. Actually, that's it. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, like, that, I think this is it right yeah, here. It goes perfect. right down there. So that'll be our tail light. Okay. Okay. So let's get this one here section out, and then we'll be that much closer to Lake Miss But Shine. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> what okay. we're going to do here is cut these off. Okay. I think I've got one more or two more down here. Yep, there's one right there. So from the factory, they sent this whole portion of the loom already zip tied together. That way there's no confusion of what wires went where. Okay. Well, now we're there. So now we know that everything's not gonna come here. So one or two ways we can do this. I'll bring this here all the way to the back, come to this corner and run it back around or bring it up to the top here out of the way bring it down to the trunk and then run it around. Ooh, so, that would be kind of fancy. I like that way better. I think it's a little fancy, but we have plenty enough wire and we can do some fancy things when you have this much wire. We, well, yeah, also look how big the trunk is too. So <laughs> doing power tour, like they say, you're going to need to bring a whole bunch of crap. And so I think I would, I like that idea better. Having all the wiring like running like yeah, up along here, keep it up high out of the way. So that way, like you're when I'm sliding stuff in here, out, it's not going to hit yes. a wire. Dude, exactly. yes, let's All do right, that. That's which way we're going then. That'd be that sweet. That was an easy one. Here's one more we're going to cut out of the way. Oh, no. Very easy. Bam. Oh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. So now we know all our grounds are going to be together. That's not a problem. I think I counted four, maybe five in here. Yep, there's the fifth one. So now we're going to section all these guys out. And so you did electrical in the Air Force, right? Yes, 21 years of a electrical in the Air Force. 21 <laughs> years of electrical in the and, Air Force. And counting. Dude. That was just the, my military time, so I'm still a civilian electrician. Damn. <laughs> and I do this for fun on the weekends. Yeah. Long walks on the beach with wires in my hand. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, so this psycho just does does wiring for fun. He's like, oh, he told me he was like, I do it for free. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't care if they paid me. <laughs> they paid me to have fun. What? <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Some people are a little intimidated by this. Well, hey. yeah, yeah, you're telling me I am. Like, I can't, I can't do wiring. I mean, I probably could, but it would take me way too long. Nah. This stuff is labeled. Imagine if it wasn't labeled. I've been that guy before. That <laughs> takes a little bit of time. But this, not so much. Yeah, it is true. It is nice that it is labeled. Yeah. You said it was a painless. I was like, shoot, when you need this done, <laughs> give me 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> painless wiring, guys. Painless wiring, yes. Good stuff. <laughs> so now what we're trying to do right now is separate the wiring harness and make it look like something that we want it to look like and not a tangled rat's nest. And then one more time, we're going to separate this. We're gonna pull right turn signal, right marker light, left turn signal, left marker light. Um, what else we have here? Fuel sending unit, and then your rear um, license plate light. Okay. So once we get all those identified and pull the location, this one's ready for terminating. So cutting, we'll to make sure it's routed where we need it to route, wire loom everything so it looks nice and beautiful. Yep. And good to go. And I did save all my old wiring because at, I'm sure at some point, Oh, yeah. At we're a lot of points, we're, we're, we're going <laughs> to... We're, we're going to need one of those connectors. Yeah, we're going to need... Guaranteed. Yeah, a bunch of these connectors. So, I just hung on to all this, and I think, actually, some of the uh, marker light wiring still has the bulbs attached to it. Because, oh, yeah, like right... Yeah, oh, we didn't break it. <laughs> oh, I thought I just broke it. No, we're good. So, yeah, but it's got, like, this, this, this crazy little prong deal that just grabs the bulb. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna need that. Yeah, probably. Unless you're ready to convert everything to LEDs. Not right now. Yeah, so we're gonna need that. <laughs> Unless the LED fairy just comes by my house and is like, you know what, I'm gonna bless this car with LEDs. Snap, you know? <laughs> yeah, in that case, I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> <laughs> so. so what is the plan for actually attaching it to um, 
to the base or to the to underneath of the uh they make the some here. quarter inch connectors for connecting an electrical conduit or electrical um calm wires okay and we'll use those to find a metal connection to, uh either yeah right here so you got one spot here one okay. spot here and we use that self-tapping screws tap them there and then we'll run the wire right along the top out of the way of everything important we could probably even go a little higher don't forget this is an old metal car yeah we'll probably hide everything right up here on the back side of this loop dude that'd be cool yeah let's investigate that a little more make sure we're not punching holes where we don't need to right that would be a nice location we're all putting self tapper suits like coming through yeah. the paint like oh no no hey, you got jb weld <laughs> jb weld <laughs> no i ain't gonna do you like that man dude, that'd be cool That'd be cool to have all this stuff mounted up underneath. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, I don't tuck them right. Now. Whoa, look at these cobwebs from like 1970. That's crazy. All right, I didn't know Those that was good ones. <laughs> Those are the good ones. The yeah, ones they don't make spiders like they used to. Those are the ones you put in when you cut yourself and you gotta seal a gash. Spider webs, buddy. <laughs> the spider webs. <laughs> all right, so now I'm gonna just grab one, see what it says, and that's where we're gonna brown them to. So this one's telling me it is your dome light. Now, you're saying, why do we have a dome light in the trunk? Well, it'll be your trunk light, dome right. light. It's easier to label it dome light since there's already a dome light in there instead of labeling it dome light, trunk light. I knew what they meant. <laughs> yeah, I do. there is no factory light back here. It is not a light package car. So, for now, we're gonna coil this one up, okay. rodeo style. We'll have it out of the way, and then when we're doing our final install and making everything look nice, we decide we want to use this to power something, we will. If not, we'll let it go. I mean, there's going to be 12 volts here, and electrician and all, if you want USB ports and all. <laughs> might be able to make something happen with these 12 volts, just saying. <laughs> yeah, right. the USB ports thing, that that is definitely a must, because you know, I'm going to be charging a cell phone, like so for... For me and my buddy that's uh, coming with me on power tour. Cell phones, GPSs. Right. Yeah, you'll definitely need that. So yeah, we'll make that magic happen. Yeah. That's an easy yeah, charge cell phones and, you know, like my little USB uh, little speaker dude there. Oh yeah, you're going to need that power. Yeah, kind of cool. So by luck, I grabbed this second one. And guess what? It's labeled Dome Light. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, so it's the power for it, your battery oh, plus. Okay. So, so is that you. is that just ground then? Or it's your switch activated. So okay. one's gonna be they probably had um I don't know if they would have used a mercury switch back in the day, but tilt switch basically. So it'll sit flush, no light, you bring the trunk up, it tilt switch, hits your power, goes to your light, brings it on. Okay. That's my guess they may have had a mercury tilt switch in here. Yeah, like I said, I don't know. This this car um wasn't a light package car. So Well, that's true. So this one may not have had it, but it may have been an option when they were building this you know what let's give them all the options right cut it out leave it there if you need it all right let's see who gets grabbed next next wire it is that looks like a tail light section right turn and brake so we know this is the right side of the car aka passenger side so we're going to let that one stay here next one is going to be third brake light which again I something don't have, else so. will not, <laughs> yeah, will something not, else will not need so we're gonna coil him up as well yeah and these guys do a good job of giving us options of you sure you don't want a third brake light right but if you never had that option you wouldn't even know if you wanted one right that, and, and I was I was just telling someone like th that is the nice thing about like the uh, the universal kit that I got yeah it's like if I did want to add mm -hmm. stuff Dude, they already have it in the kit. You yeah. just got to make connectors and hook them up. That's yeah, we're it. We're not splicing into fuel tank, sending units, trying to get it back here. It's here. Right. So, very nice. All right. This guy here is labeled tail light section, left tail light and brakes. So, we know we're going to go up, over, and around. All right. I'm going in. He's going in. Keep everything out of the way like we're saying. So I'm gonna pull this through. We are hinges mount, running up over the 
the, the structure of the car here. Okay. We'll push it back out the side, and that'll get us over to our left hand side. Sweet. Over. Man, I'm so excited this is happening. <laughs> this is like a huge stress reliever, dude. Seriously. I don't know why you were stressed. It's just a bunch of wires. <laughs> I don't know, man. And it's they're like de-energized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No power to them. Yeah, that's a good point. Right. Yeah, I could have been doing this with power hook to them. <laughs> yeah. Watching fuses blow every few seconds. That's always fun. Okay. And there we are. And we are on the left-hand side of the car. So that's our turn signals and our brakes. Okay. So that one's ready for business. And then when it's all said and done, like I said, everything will be tucked high and tight. Let's see where this one decided it wants to go. Put a little light. That one says it is painless section. Fuel gauge. So okay, already... so that was my question. Why is there fuel? Oh. Sending unit. Sending unit, okay. Yep. yep, so this sends back to your gauge cluster. Okay. So on the other side of there should be another blue one in that big harness we have in the center. Right. That'll have your fuel gauge in it, okay. and that'll go to your actual needer, uh, needer, needle that deflects. Gotcha. Okay, I was going to say, because I saw that, and I was like, fuel gauge? Okay, so does that need to go to the dash? or you know, Yes. To it, the dash, but, it will but because it's, it's coming off. Okay. signal from here. Got it. So the actual tank itself will be grounded, and then this will be the other end of that. So resistor in there. Sure. Rheostat. So okay. if it gets its signal up and down, it'll send it through here back to your center or your gauge actually on the dash. Yeah. Gotcha. So that's where that one will end up. Okay. Just like earlier, we're running out of wires again, man. Awesome. So let's see. This guy here is labeled right turn brake. There we are. Right hand side. And then the other one should be left turn brake. Actually, no, one of these is going to need to be tail light, unless I missed it somewhere else. That's that one. And there it is. Got reverse lights on this puppy? Yeah, dude. Oh, nice. Bam. Okay. Almost, almost forgot one. <laughs> so there you are. There's your reverse lights. Backup, light, switch, reverse lights. Okay. Okay. And the only thing I need to do is I need to get a... Uh, a little um, sensor for the transmission so that I can actually yes. utilize <laughs> reverse. Put that in reverse and it actually, yes sir. But you know, I, I think it's dumb. I don't plan on going in reverse. I plan on driving <laughs> forward. Yeah. Going fast. I'm going fast. <laughs> I just want to go fast. Just want to go fast. <laughs> We're going to need reverse though. Pretty somewhere in the Midwest, you're going to end up bottle nosed in. You're going to have to back out. Oh, I'm sure. Right turn brakes. That's it. it. There's our right turn brakes. Now, Left do they say brake. right turn brakes area, or do they just say, oh, okay, like like why is it well, why is it labeled right turn brakes? So I'm assuming this is going to be labeled right turn brakes, just because in, in case it's the same bowl. Okay. So when you hit your brakes, it's going to put your brakes on. When you turn the uh, right turn signal on, it's going to hit the turn signals. Now, if you go back to the front. You're gonna have separate wires for both of these, but they're all gonna go through either the turn signal relay or that little blinker relay, boop, 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 okay. and your brake switch. So they'll all connect back up here, but back here you just see that they're labeled the same thing. Gotcha. So your hot wire, to give it that name, the hot wire when you hit the brakes is gonna bring on either the turn signal or the brakes, but if you have your left turn or your right turn on and you're hitting the brakes at the same time, it'll stop one or the other from working. Gotcha. But that'll be all done up there. So when you see this wire, probably going to be terminated with two other wires, maybe three other wires. Okay. Yep. All right. That one's labeled two tail lights. That one's labeled two tail lights. That one's labeled two. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Rear marker lights. Here we go. So that one, sir. There sure. should be two of those. Yes. I wanted okay. to see if this gave me a left or a right, did it? No, it just says rear marker lights. So we'll set that one there. There's the other one, rear marker light. So that'll be that side looking for. Because we didn't get our um, license plate. Okay. So it should be one of these over here. There, there it is. License plate B+. So 
B plus, battery plus. Even though this is a black wire, electricians would think it must be a ground, but it's clearly labeled B plus. So that's your license plate, B plus. Okay. That's the battery to our license plate. So that's gonna be this right here. Okay. And if you notice the rest of it probably look like this little funny bulb here to where those metal pieces is actually touching the ground of the car. Sure. So that's our ground, the actual socket itself, and then our battery plus once we turn on your light switch up front, it's okay. gonna send power back here for your tail, tail light, gotcha. license plate light, I'm sorry. Gotcha. License plate light. <sighs> Get it out. Freaking okay. wizard. <laughs> <laughs> easy man this is the easy stuff and like I said once we start cutting and terminating we'll go over this one more time just to make sure we cut once put it together once sure and get out of dodge right so all right we know where that's going yes all these wires will be uh, soldered they'll be heat shrinked yes and they'll have the proper connections nothing nothing cheap all the no backwoods no hokey dokey right. none of that right yeah it's all going to be done properly y'all done seen my face <laughs> y'all done seen my face so, <laughs> gosh. like that's the guy that put that masking tape on that connection no no it wasn't masking tape it's just regular christmas tape i'm good <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and then uh so like yeah so once we're done uh getting everything sectioned where it is right now <laughs> I say we. <laughs> by we, I mean him. By, by we, I mean Rodell. <laughs> Dude's kicking ass. I so like um, I like it. We'll uh, we'll wrap all the wires and and what what was it? Just like the um, heat shrink? No, 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 not the heat shrink. The to protect the oh, wire. Oh, wire loom. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. So we're gonna put some either plastic wire loom in or PVC wire loom in. Yeah, but it'll make everything nice and protected, so you don't have wires sitting on old rusted car and eventually wearing through so okay wire loom will give it plenty enough time to something to happen before you see it sure uh, yeah okay all these are where they need to go it's all right side uh, it's not a marker light so let me go back in i'm gonna chase this one right down where i chase that green one okay and then that'll that'll pretty much put pretty much put everything that's in the trunk where it belongs Yeah. Yeah. What? Watch your head. Yeah, I'm about to get low. That's better. Did get that tetanus shot though. So that's good. Oh. There we go. I like it. Yeah, dude, looks good. Painless has like this super badass uh, wire loom, and uh, I'll, I, I think they sent a sample of it. I'll have to, I'll have to grab it so you can yeah. see. It. It's really nice. Did they send it in here? Yeah, this stuff. Yeah, that's it. That is it. Yeah, that's the stuff you want. That's what I'm, I'm buying right there. Power braid. Okay, that's what they call it. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Okay. So yeah, you can get some of that stuff. I like the way it works. And you see- Yeah, that looks nice. Going on after the fact it would not be an issue. I mean, that stuff that they got around the corner is just a thick piece of plastic. It sure. split down the center and it's not bad. Just saying it works. But I'm an adult now. I'm adulting. <laughs> but I'm an adult. And I'm buying some adult stuff. This is that adult <laughs> stuff. <laughs> no more of that high school stuff, man. Adult yeah. stuff. All right. <laughs> Stapling it to yes. freaking paper. Masking tape, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, masking With tape. <laughs> Done it. Yeah, All that's right. really nice stuff, man. I think I want to get some of that. Classic braid, power braid. Yeah, power braids are stuff exactly what I was talking about. That's what you want. Power braid. Yeah, it looks nice. All right, guys, and that's going to wrap up episode two of the painless wiring install. Huge thank you to my buddy Rodell for coming up and helping me out, as electrical is not my strong suit, and he freaking loves to do it. So, he was, you know, he was like, oh, man, I'll come help you out, no problem. So, again, thanks, Rodell, for coming up and helping me out, man. And, again, huge thank you to Painless for supplying the wiring harness, as it is freaking amazing, and it, and it looks great. So I'm very excited about that. Um... Episode three, we're going to be hooking up connectors, getting the tail lights, marker lights, headlights, and then a bunch of stuff on the inside um, hooked up as well. And then we're going to figure out where we want to mount um, 
the fuse block. I, I haven't decided if, if we're going to go behind the dash or maybe like somewhere on the firewall. It also depends on where I'm going to be mounting the uh, Holly Terminator X computer and all that wiring. So um, we're going to have to figure that out. But um, anyway, if you feel I have earned your subscription, please subscribe, share it, get the bell on, and dudes, we'll see you next time.